Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman in today's video. We're going to have a conversation around your worth and value, okay? Because I want you to know that you are of great value. You are precious. You are different. You are unique. You are irreplaceable. You are one of a kind. Now, I know it's easy for us to walk around and say these things out of our mouth, but many people are walking around, they can say out of their mouth, and they can call themselves, I'm a queen or I'm a king, but you don't feel valuable on the inside. You don't feel, you know, good enough on the inside. And this is why I'm coming to you today, because it's time for us to go to the next level, okay, in our lives. It's time for us to understand and know our worth and value. God said, you are precious in honor in my sight. He said, you are the apple of his eye. You got to understand what these, what, what these words mean, right? I want to go to Psalm chapter 30, 139, verse 14. Psalm chapter 139, verse 14. It say, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul know it well. He said, my soul know that, you know, he's fearfully and wonderfully made. His soul know that he's marvelous, right? And the soul consists of your mind, will, and emotion. So my question to you is, do you know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? Do you even see yourself as something wonderful? Do you see yourself as someone of great value? Do you even know what your value is? What makes you valuable? This is the conversation we're having here, right? Because when you know what makes you valuable, when you start seeing yourself as someone who is different, set apart, unique, you know, one of a kind, irreplaceable, you walk different, you talk different, you show up differently, okay? Because you understand your worth and value. What makes you valuable to God is what he put on the inside of you, that purpose and calling that he put he placed on the inside of you that's what makes you worthy you know of great value to the lord right this is also why he tell us you know your body is a temple of the holy spirit and he would and he would begin to tell you take care of your body because if you don't take care of your body and you just let it go and you start feeding your body all this junk right you're gonna eventually get sick and then you know pass away from here and God is like, no, you are, you are of great value. Take care of your body. Take care of your health because I got great. I got good things in store for you. It's things I want to birth out of you. But to do that, I need you to make sure you're investing in your health. To do that, I need you to make sure you're practicing self-care, right? To do that, I, I, need to, I need you to make sure you're not allowing people to come into your life to use you and mistreat you, right? And trying to wear you down. Come on now. We're having a conversation around your worth and value. Let's take a look at some of these definitions. Irreplaceable. Irreplaceable means, <clears throat> excuse me, irreplaceable means impossible to replace if lost or damaged. You have to know, and you got to help yourself to understand that you are, ir uh, uh, you are impossible to replace. When you know this, you don't get moved by a counterfeit. When you know you are irreplaceable, and you see your spouse going from counterfeit to counterfeit to counterfeit, it doesn't move you because you already understand that's not going to last long. You already understand. He or she, referring to your spouse, they're not going to get what they're looking for in these counterfeits because I have it, right? When you know what you bring to that table and what you do or what, what, yeah, what you do in your spouse's life, you don't get... You don't feel jealous because they entertain and they counterfeit. It doesn't move you because you understand I have what you need. And when you're ready to receive this, you know, you will come back home. You will find me. You will come back over here, right? You're irreplaceable. You're impossible to replace. Your spouse can't replace you. They might try it, but you're impossible to replace. And I want you to help yourself to understand what I'm saying here, because it's not enough for me to just say it to you. You have to believe that I am, I am impossible to replace. You got to help yourself to see your own worth and value. Let's take a look at the definition for the word different. Different mean not the same as another, 
Um, it also means unlike in nature, form, or quality. Usually when people say you're different, they say it in a negative, you know, context. They say it like something is wrong with you, right? But the truth of the matter is we're all different. You're not, you know, supposed to look like the next person. You're not supposed to act like the next person, right? You are different. Own it. You're unlike any other. Own it. Don't allow people calling you different to call, you know, to have you feeling some type of way about yourself in a negative sense. No. Agree with them. You, you're right. I am different because I have character when there's many others who don't walk in character. I'm a child of God, right? This is what makes me different, right? I know my worth and value, so I don't tolerate foolishness, right? This is what makes me different, right? I have a great personality, right? Come on now, you got to list out. You know, you got to begin to list out what makes you different and own it, accept it. I am different. I'm not supposed to try to fit in over there when God called me to stand out. Okay, let's take a look at the word, uh, the definition for the word unique. Unique means being the only one of its kind, unlike anything else. You have to know that you are unique and I need you to own it. Your purpose, when you come into your purpose and calling, that's the very thing that's going to set you apart. If you if you own your purpose and calling, let me say it this way. Here's the thing. When you step into your purpose and calling, but you try to do it like someone else, you blend in with the crowd, right? When you step, so you don't want to do that. When you step into your purpose and calling and you add your own uniqueness to it, you bring your own level of, you know, uh, authenticity to it, right? That's what makes you unique. This is what separates you from the rest. This is how you become unlike anyone else. Okay? I need y'all to understand this. You have to see yourself as someone who is special, someone who is rare. You have to see your value. You have to help yourself to see your own worth and value. Because when you see your own worth and value, and when you know you are of great value, when you know I'm a queen, I'm a king, I'm a, I'm a woman of character, man of character, right? I'm a child of God. I walk in authority, right? When you understand these things about yourself, I'm a great catch. I'm irreplaceable. I'm unique, right? Anyone would love to have me, right? When you saying these things, but you, but not only just saying it, you believe these things about yourself, you stop tolerating the foolishness. You're able to let go of counterfeits because you know your worth and value. See, when you understand your worth and value, you now become a high value woman or a high value man because what makes you valuable? See, when you understand your worth and value, right? You're now, you know, high value woman, high value man, and you're now able to bring value to other people's lives. Like how I said, it's not enough to walk around here calling yourself a queen or a king or or even saying to yourself, I'm a high value woman or man. But yet you don't know what you bring to the table. You're not adding any value to people's lives. Right. How does people's lives change or get better just because you're in it? This is how you help yourself to see and understand your worth and value, right? How do you change people's lives just by you being in their life, just by a person being connected to you? What is it that you're, you know, you bring to the table? What, what, what is it that God placed on inside of you? You have to understand your worth and value because when you know you are of great value, when you know that you are unique, you are rare, you are different, you are irreplaceable, you stop tolerating the very thing you're tolerating right now. You start carrying yourself differently. You start, you know, raising your standards and expecting more, expecting better, right? You stop settling for less because you understand you deserve the best, right? So this is a conversation I wanted to have with you. This has been on my sphere for all, you know, for like a whole week now. You know, it's time for us to shift into knowing our worth and value, right? You don't go down to another person level. If you are a woman or a man of character and you meet someone who come into your life, it could be your spouse as well, and they don't have character, you don't go down to their level. You know, you bring them up to your level because your level is the standard, 
right? You can't go below your own level. You bring these individuals up to your level, okay? And when they come up to your level, then you just keep going up, right? Someone come in your life and they're trying to, you know, convince you to tolerate X, Y, and Z. You don't tolerate that. No. If you're not bringing chaos, confusion, drama to this individual's lives, and you know how to be there for them, you know how to support this individual, if they can't bring the basic to your life, they don't get any of your time. They don't even deserve to be in your space. This is what it means to know your worth and value, right? So don't go down to another person's level to try to get them to accept you or love you. No, you love yourself first. You accept who you are first. And then you understand your worth and value. And you 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 extend the invitation to these individuals. Hey, I'm all for you being in my life. But in order for you to, you know, be in my life, you got to come up to my level. Because I'm not coming down to yours. I'm not going to continue to tolerate the foolishness. I'm not going to continue to put up with this, you know, X, Y, and Z. No. If I'm a woman of character, I'm expecting a man of character, period. Right? And that is, that's the that's the you know attitude you walk in. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's time for us to know our worth and value. You are a great value. You are precious and honor in God's sight. He said, You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are his works. You have to know. And when God created you, he created something that was wonderful. Yes, you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to, you know, uproot some of those lies, you know, that was planted in your, in, you know, in your life from the people in your past. You're going to have to, you know, start taking better care of yourself because maybe your past taught you how to neglect yourself, right? You're going to have to just start doing things differently. This is how we come into, you know, learning our worth and value. But you are of great value. So I want you to walk in it, and I want you to own it. All right? That is it. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.